Okay, everybody, we're back, and I wanted to talk today about the best plugins that you can get for your blog site right away. We've been working on our Journey to a Million series, and this is step five, and we're going to be talking about, uh, we've been talking about blog design, you know, we're going to get into video marketing, but we're just drilling down a little bit deeper on plugins and widgets and that kind of thing for your blog, and I wanted to share with you what I would get right away and where they go. Okay, so Akismet is one of the first ones that you want to get this one right here and what you'll do is you'll go out to uh, your plugins and you'll go to add new and what Akismet does is it helps you eliminate spam to your site which it may not be a big deal to you now but when once you start seeing all the spam you're gonna get that but if I didn't have Akismet I would go out and I could download that that plugin right there but I do have it so it's already installed but what that does is that helps me I have a key that helps me eliminate some spam in my back office you know for comments and that kind of thing and you'll get a lot of that uh, a lot of pingbacks that maybe you don't necessarily want but trust me you want to go out the very first plugin that you want to get is a kismet and that will stop a lot of a lot of spam the next one you want to get is the all-in-one SEO pack and let me show you where that is on your blog now where all-in-one SEO pack is, is this is where we're writing our posts and pages here. We've talked about where to put pictures and videos, or yeah, pictures and videos into our blog post. But what I want to talk about now is all-in-one SEO. And where that goes is at the very bottom. Okay, and this is where you put your title. Okay, it says most search engines use a maximum of 60 characters per title. But once you download the all-in-one SEO pack, and put that in as your plugin here you'll want to activate that but you can put a description and also your keywords down here at the bottom okay a lot of themes have SEO built in all-in-one SEO pack is just recognized by a lot of third-party vendors as being a, a very good plugin for SEO another one is the platinum SEO pack but take your pick both of those are great and you need some kind of SEO pack in my opinion if you've got Woo themes or some of the other top level theme providers, they have an SEO package that will probably work just as well. But the main thing you're looking for is to make sure that it has all three of these title, description, and then a place to put your keywords in the post. Okay. Now the next one I want to talk about is SEO presser and where that is, is here. Okay. And I didn't put anything here, for example, but let's put in uh, good WordPress themes. Okay, and what SEO Presser does is it tells you how well your on-page SEO is, and, and I haven't done this yet for, on purpose, but let's put in, what I do is I type in, that's a plugin that I go and download, and then I'll hit enter, and it will tell me what's good or what's bad about my SEO score on this particular page. And it's checking to see what all components I have on the page so let's see what it comes back at very bad score okay I don't have an H H1 uh, tag okay so let's talk about that and we're gonna get more into SEO later so let's go down here and let's go put in a good WordPress themes and top theme WordPress theme providers Okay, and what I'll do to create my H1 tag is go on that particular line and put that heading. Okay, so that, that'll all look good on the page. Okay, and scrolling down, I don't have an H2 tag either. So I want to put good WordPress themes down at the bottom. Okay, and I do this a lot. I'll put my H2 and my H3 down at the very bottom. Okay. I'll put the H3 there and the H2 there. But it kind of looks cool down at the bottom of the page. I don't have an alt tag set to my keyword. Okay, what I want to do, okay, I'll hit update there. And let's see. But as you can see, I'm just going to refresh this. You can, It'll go through and it will tell you exactly what we're looking for. Now it's gone up to 71%, but if I take out the good WordPress themes, and just use WordPress themes, my SEO is gonna be much better. Okay, my keyword density's up. And I can put an external link with a keyword 
recommend to start your content with the keyword, then that's okay. I wasn't worried about the length of this content, so it's not very long. But uh, at any rate, this will this is a great plugin that helps you do some on-page SEO. And I go back and I've I've fixed a lot of these things in the past. I'm just going to update that and I'm going to show you some more plugins. But SEO Presser is a no-brainer. It's forty-seven dollars, I think, and I've got a link on this page for SEO Presser. But that's one I recommend no matter who you are. That's a great one because I forget. I know what to do in a lot of cases, but sometimes I forget. So let's go back to plugins. Now one of the other plugins that I like is SeverShare or some kind of sharing sidebar. You don't have to use SeverShare, but what SeverShare is, is it will allow you to, to share it on multiple sites, on Pinterest, StumbleUpon, Tumblr. This makes it really accessible to be able to share that and to get your tweets out. Uh, this is a brand new post, so it's not got any activity yet. But also, Comment Love is another great one down here at the bottom. I'm logged in, but if I wasn't, it would allow me to put my website and create a backlink back to my uh, or the other person, the commenter's particular website, which is a good way to help people. You know, if you're out there reading posts, I always encourage you to leave a comment. And if you own a, a blog, you'll want to put Comment Love on your blog to encourage other people that are there to leave a comment on your post because more comments, more shares, more tweets, more digs, uh, that tells social signal is the new thing for Google now. And if you have more of these, then your page is going to get ranked a lot better for whatever particular content that you're putting out there. Okay, another one I like a lot is sexy bookmarks and you can go in again and just type in, uh, it's under sexy bookmarks by Shareaholic, okay? You'll go in, download that plugin, and where that shows up is here. It's just another way to share your content. I probably don't need all of these things, and I may shore this up and get rid of one of these, but these are just some things that I like, and you can choose from those. One plugin I really like is Ultimate Follow Me, and if you'll see it, you'll see it right here. But the Ultimate Follow Me plugin gives your Facebook, your Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, YouTube, you can email straight from here or subscribe to an RSS feed right here, uh, which is really cool. So, uh, Two Press is another great plugin, and I'll show you what that looks like as well. So let's go out to Dean Etheridge. Let me show you what that looks like, and this is incredible. Just to be able to put training videos all in one place or whatever your core videos are, if I click on this training videos link, this is a Two Press page, and so you go download Two Press. And that's what this page looks like, okay? It's got all these videos. And you can favorite those. It's just a short code where you would go in to TubePress. Okay, let's go look at TubePress. What my TubePress is set up for is this right here, okay? It's got my favorites. I can also do a playlist, most viewed videos. Lots of options on TubePress, but what it does is it just puts all of those on one page. And the only thing you need to do is open up a page once you've installed the plugin and I'll show you you'll just put your bracket symbol to press bracket symbol that's it and give the title of the page video page okay let me just go ahead and show you what that looks like it will it will update immediately so that's just a short code and watch how cool I think this is just incredible and I'll refresh this okay I'll click on this video page. I put it on a post and I've got to take that down. Let's see, it puts the same information that quick on my site from my YouTube channel. Pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that post because I do not want that. And it is. So uh, just really quick though, I mean, you can put the brackets to press and bingo, you've got your best videos on there, but really get to know to press. I think you'll love that plugin. Let's go back to the other plugins. Contact form by contact me. I love this one. And what that is, is this right here. If I put, click the contact me form, this is a great way for people to always see uh, your contact form there. And they put their name, their email, and you can put your own logo here. Really cool, but that's a free plugin. I think from uh, MailChimp is who does this one. But it's contact form by contactme.com. Uh, you can use AdSense, of course. Ultimate Tag Cloud, that's what this one is. And, um, you know, that's pretty cool for getting people to view more pages. 
and more categories, but basically it's put a lot of categories over here under popular keywords, but those stay on my page. That tells the search engines that these are the things that I blog about, which is pretty cool. And then the last one is very good, WordPress Super Cache, okay? And I use the WordPress Total Cache now, but what that does is that cleans up your pages. Once you start getting a lot of images, a lot of videos on your page, your page really starts to move slow, but it helps cache or memory dump some of the, the images that people have already loaded on your page, which makes the user experience a lot better. Mine was really, really slow and I put this W3 total cache on my page and it's really helped out. But you need to study this W3 total cache before you start playing with that one because that's a little bit more advanced. Uh, you don't necessarily need it right out of the gate, but later on you're gonna need that to speed up your site just a little bit. Mine still needs to be a little bit faster and I'm working on that. Uh, I'm probably gonna change hosting companies because it's just starting to move just a little bit slower. I'm getting a lot of traffic now on my site, so I will be working on improving the user experience. So that's some of my favorite plugins. Basically, you're gonna to go to your plugins. Remember, we're gonna to go to our dashboard, uh, plugins, add new, do a search for whatever plugin we want, install it, activate it, and you're good to go. Uh, one last thing, one, one other thing that I didn't mention in there, if you don't have an image plugin, those are very, very helpful for images like this. Okay, I can put an image in here, put a link to that image, but let me show you what that looks like on your theme. Once I go to widgets, you'll see that you have an image widget right here. And you can just drag that over here, insert whatever image you want out on your computer, uh, within your media library, which you're gonna be using a lot once you do posts and pictures. But I highly recommend if you don't have a way to put images out there to go download the image widget. And that's again, part of your plugin. So again, I hope this helps and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care everybody.